All right, today is day nine ten of the Invictus. Well, not technically Invictus. This is the Drake in a planetary defense con. Drake is not in the Invictus because they have no uh, naval contracts with the UEE. So technically they're not a military shipbuilder. So since Drake wasn't invited, they started their own show, which is Defense Con. Come on. There we go. And Defense Con. And it's right at the space station, so, or the spaceport, so it's real easy to find. Just so I'm sure. And got my Drake gear on. Okay, what can we say about Drake? <laughs> After fleet launches, who's left to protect you? <laughs> Drake Interplanetary. Drake's got several things nailed down. Mostly the medium fighter. Because first thing you got is the Cutlass Black. Which is not the best fighter. But it's a good all around, and if you have it long enough, you run a little cargo with it or whatever to get a little money to upgrade things, it becomes a more and more reputable fighter. It can really hold its own. It's big and bulky because it's a medium cargo as well as a medium fighter, but it can do more than you expect. The Drake Red. Which, as soon as medical gameplay is in, is going to become more beneficial. But in its current setup, it's a decent fighter where you can respawn in its med bed. So you just park this wherever you're at, or wherever you're going to do your fighting and everything. And rather than spawning back at the space station, you spawn back at your ship, which is kind of awesome. And the Cuddy Blue. Which is the police variant. Add is... <laughs> Cutlass Blue adds missiles, a more aggressive engine, and Durasteel hold cells in the cargo bay standard model. Cutlass Blue is the Outworld's, Outworld's militia standard ship of choice for patrols. So this is your police variant. So it's got holding cells in the back. It's got better armor and this windscreen. Oh, I love that screen. I wished it was on all the cutlasses. So that is their mid-size lineup. And they're not like super duper, but they're very impressive for what they are with cargo space and fighting ability. They're not going to do you much against other players if they're very aggressive, but against the AI, they're great. All right, and then there's Drake Caterpillar. It is the semi truck of Star Citizen. Uh, I think it still has the fastest quantum speed of all the ships can't be I'm not a hundred percent on that but I think it still has the fastest quantum speed and when it's fully functional and in game this is just your cargo and space and this ship part here of the ship can actually detach and fly around but they have not got that fully functional in it's not a heavily armed ship but it's fairly decent armored and shielded, so it's very hard to take down. And if it's fl flown correctly, you can get it on surface and out of 
uh, planetary gravity fairly easy because it does have huge engines for pushing out of the atmosphere. So it's a very good cargo hauler for its size. And here is a very great little fighter, the Drake Buccaneer. It's a light fighter, and I mean light fighter. It doesn't have much in the way of armor, but it does have guns. It's got, was it two size threes, uh, size one, then it's auto cannon, I think is size three. So it has all that firepower, and the three big ones are just all around the cockpit. So you can get really good damage saturation in a small area. So it's great for taking out other ships. And once you learn how to fly it, it is a killing machine. Great little fighter. And here is the Drake Herald. Right now, because they don't have the gameplay in it, mechanic in for it yet, it's a data runner, a small armored and designed to safely get information from point A to point B featuring a powerful central engine for high speed transit generating power needed for effective data encryption containment. Advanced encryption software and armor computer core, the Herald is unique among personal spacecraft that is designed to easily clean to an in danger of capture. So basically, pick up data, run it. If you get captured, you can dump it without too much problems. But it is a surprisingly fast little ship. It's not very well armed, but it's got decent armor and it can move. It gets out and really flies. I think somebody was using it to set track times on the uh, races, the time trials. So it's very, very fast. Well, that's interesting. Okay, here is the Dragonfly. It's a fun little hover bike. You say it's for racing, but it's the only one of the bikes that has a cargo capacity. Uh, still got people standing on chairs, which is awesome. And it does have forward facing guns on it, so it can do a little damage. Here is the Kraken. The Kraken has been released and it means one thing, there's no putting it back. This attack carrier has changed the way militias operate forever and when it comes to personal defense there's one thing you'll never want to be falling behind. A pr protector and a beacon of freedom in a often cruel universe Drake in a planetary has made this capital class ship available to all those tasked with safekeeping those unable to protect themselves. The Kraken is both a sanctuary and a self-contained war machine ready to take on the most daunting adversaries. Okay, so basically this is like a flying carrier ship, but it does have a decent armament on it so that it can get into a fight itself. And there's supposed to be a variant that is a trade ship. So a flying, you know, capital class, you know, trading ship. So I don't know how they're going to set that up. You know, people come in and land on its decks and go into the shops or however. But it's looking to be very impressive. And it's making me think of... Uh, the hell carriers out of uh, the Marvel Universe. So, and we run back over 
here. This is another interesting one from Drake. It's the Vulture. Drake in a planetary vulture. There's no denying it. Winning can be messy business when your fleet of Drake ships is done leaving, laving waste, or laying waste, I guess that's the why, to the latest batch of outlaws who were foolhardy enough to tangle with you and your people. There's going to be no shortage of wreckage to, be, to wade through. This is where the vulture comes in. No tea to leave behind a variable junkyard around your station or your homestead for criminals to use as cover next time they attack. The vulture can help you clean it all up and then some. Forget just cleaning the way or clearing the way. Salvage pays. What better way to defend yourself than to have the broken ships of your enemies pay for your next round of ammunition? Sounds like you're fitting in to us. So, this is their light salvage or medium salvage I think I can't remember how big it's gonna be but it's a salvage vehicle that Drake is putting out and it's supposed to be able to dismantle and somewhat break down some of the components for resale and here's the one everybody's all excited about through Drake well other than the Kraken is the Corsair we at Drake Planetary Interplanetary know that sometimes defense isn't just about protecting what's yours. Sometimes it's about striking out and facing the unknown head on. How can how can you ever be truly safe if you don't know what threat is waiting beyond the next mountain range, moon, or jump point? Thanks to a large hold capa capable of stowing a small vehicle and specially designed asymmetric convertible wings. The Corsair adapts gracefully to unfamiliar atmospheres, combat situations, and hot landing zones. Be ready for anything, and you will never be caught unprepared. So what's cool about this ship is it does have some decent fire forward-facing firepower, but it's also got support turrets in it for fighting off landing zones whatever it looks like it's got three turns on it to the side on either side one to the back and it's got that nice Star Warsy feeling fold up wings I'm not sure about this gun way out on the wingtip but We'll see once it's in game because it's still in production. But it's looking like it could be a decent ship to go fight and fly with. And it's supposed to be a fairly large ship, as in Corsair size, if I'm understanding everything correctly. And I've already got Drake's swag. Oh, so you can re-rent all the ships. Wow, all the ships from the previous days, which is awesome. But, let's truck back over here. The only problem with Drake is a lot of their ships wind up in pirate hands. And that's one of the big lore side of the why everybody is not liking Drake at some of the things and that and the fact that they have not actually won any of the military contracts uh, so they'll sell their products to anybody including people that may be pirates alright let's watch the commercial for a second this is the one, this is for the Drake Kraken. Some 
poor guy out mining with his prospector minded in his own business and oh that's not right huh look at all these other non-drake ships showing up all piratey like and ta-da in comes the Kraken Drake Buccaneer Drake Cuddies yeah, I'm just looking from the commercial here they're gonna have multiple turns well, capital class turns so yeah so they're gonna be able to take things down fairly easy and I'm surmising that there's gonna be some repair and some refueling being that it's a carrier Alright, I think that's everything for today. Thank you for watching. I will just talk to you all later. Bye.